kids, welcome back to Grace Kids. My name is Pastor Scott, and I serve as the prison campus pastor here at Grace Church. That's right, we go into the prison and share the hope of Jesus with all the guys in that community. Well, hey, it's so great to be joining you again today. You know, in today's story, we will learn all about how God delivered his people. Can you think of a time when something wonderful was delivered to your home? Maybe it was this year at Christmas. Hey, what does it mean to be delivered? Today, we're going to learn about a different kind of delivery, where God delivered people out of slavery and into freedom. By His grace, God spared the Israelites from judgment. Oh, wait a minute. Did you hear my dog, Olive? Say hi to Olive. By His grace, God spared the Israelites from judgment by requiring the blood of a lamb. You know, Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. His death was the ultimate sacrifice. And those who trust in Jesus are under His saving blood and will be passed over in the final judgment. But before we get to today's story, let's head over to Grace Kids Trivia to see what you remember from last week's story about how God called and saved Moses. Good luck. Question one, true or false? A new Pharaoh or king took over Egypt and ordered the Egyptians to get rid of all of the Israelites' baby boys. And the answer is true. Sadly, this was true. This new pharaoh was afraid that all the Israelites could fight him and win. So he made them work very hard and later ordered to get rid of all the Israelites' baby boys. Question 2. True or false? When Moses was born, his mother was so worried that he would be taken away. So she set him on pharaoh's doorstep, hoping that he would be okay. And the answer is... False. This was not true. Moses' mother was worried that he could get taken away, but instead she hid him as long as she could, then set him in a basket and set the basket at the edge of the river. Later, Pharaoh's daughter saw the baby and wanted to keep him, so she kept the baby and named him Moses. Question three, true or false? When Moses was older, he saw a building on fire. God used this to speak to Moses. And the answer is... False! This was false again. You probably remember even from our craft last week, but Moses actually saw a bush on fire. But the bush wasn't burning up. God called from the bush and told Moses that his people were suffering and that he wanted Moses to lead his people out of Egypt to a good land he had for them. Which leads us to our next question. Question four, true or false? God told Moses that leading the people out of Egypt would be an easy task. And the answer is false again, three in a row. God told Moses that this job would not be easy. Pharaoh would say no, but God promised Moses that the Pharaoh would one day let God's people go. So Moses headed back to Egypt to obey what God told him to do. And our final question of the day, question five, true or false? God saved Moses' life so Moses could grow up and save God's people from the Egyptian Pharaoh. And the answer is true. This was true. God planned for his son, Jesus, to save people in an even better way. God sent Jesus to earth and Jesus gave up his life to save us from our sin.
everyone, I'm Megan. And I'm Jessie. Megan, did you see the hailstorm last night? I did. I actually heard it before I saw it. The hailstones hitting my roof were really loud. I had never seen hail before. It looked like, like small frozen snowballs falling from the sky. My mom is sad because the hail knocked down a bunch of the plants in her garden. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Jesse. Hail can be really destructive. God sent hail as one of the plagues on Egypt, and it destroyed everything in their fields. What's a plague? A plague is a trouble or punishment. God sent plagues, including hail, to Egypt because Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, said he would not let God's people go. Oh, did, did the Pharaoh not know how powerful God is? Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Let me tell you the story. God had a plan to rescue his people from slavery in Egypt. He told Moses and Moses' brother Aaron to talk to Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. They said, this is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, let my people go. But Pharaoh did not let the people go. Who is the Lord, he asked. I will not obey him. So God punished the Egyptians. First, he turned the water in the Nile River into blood. But Pharaoh did not let God's people go. So God sent frogs into Egypt. Moses said, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. God sent gnats into Egypt. Then he sent flies. Moses said, let my people go. But Pharaoh said, no. God caused all the livestock, animals like horses, donkeys, and sheep to die. Then God sent sore spots all over the people. But Pharaoh said, no. God sent a hailstorm. He sent locusts. Pharaoh said, go, but then he changed his mind. Then God sent darkness. Moses said, let my people go. Still, Pharaoh said, no. God told Moses, I will bring one more punishment. After that, Pharaoh will let you go. Moses warned Pharaoh, the firstborn son in every family in Egypt will die, but God's people will be safe. Pharaoh did not listen. So God told the Israelites to put the blood of a lamb on the doorposts of their houses. This would be a special mark that God would see and he would pass over the house. That night, every oldest son in Egypt died. The people cried and Pharaoh told Moses and Aaron, go. The Israelites left quickly. They took bread and animals with them. The Egyptians gave them gold, silver, and clothing. God told Moses and Aaron that he was going to bring his people to a new land. God led his people out of Egypt. The Israelites had been slaves in Egypt for a long time. They were finally free. God kept the Israelites safe from punishment when they put the blood of a lamb over their doors. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Jesus was punished for sin when he died on the cross and everyone who trusts in Jesus is kept safe from the punishment for sin. So this week, 
Our craft is going to be a little bit different. We're going to make a poster as a class together, and I'm gonna show you kind of how to do that. But first, we're gonna read this verse, and everybody's gonna get a printout of the verse so that you can read it together as a class. Are you ready? It says, God is not human, that he should lie. Not a human being, that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? This is Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. And this is what we're gonna learn about today, the differences between God and humans. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to make your poster. Are you ready? Okay, so I just have a piece of paper, but you're gonna have a piece of colored poster board that you can either hang on the wall to write on, or you can just do it on the table and then we can hang it up later. So what you're going to do first is just draw a line down the middle of your poster board. Okay, and then at the top on the left, you're going to write God. And then the right side, you're going to write human. And then as a class, you're going to talk about the differences between God and a human. So some of the things that you could write would be, God always tells the truth. So he is the truth. So he is the truth. Hopefully you don't make a mistake like me, but that's okay, you do. Humans sometimes lie. Humans also sometimes sin because we are not perfect. God is perfect. He is always perfect. Okay, and then you're gonna keep going, writing the difference between things about God and things about people. I don't wanna give you all the answers. I want you guys to come up with some of your own. But if then you can pick some with really nice handwriting to make your poster really nice. You could even decorate it a little bit with different colors. I suggest using markers. If you don't have markers in your room, you could use colored pencils or crayons. But markers just show up better on your colored poster board. And then there's gonna be tape in your room that you can hang it up so that everybody can see what you guys came up with as a class and the difference between God and humans in what you learned today in class. I'm very excited to come around and see what you guys learned today by looking at your posters and the differences between God and humans. I hope that you guys have fun doing this together as a class and I'm so excited to see them. Thanks so much for watching Grace Kids TV. Have a great week.